Hello and welcome. In this video we will go over the Equipment Data tool creating a configuration. Using the Equipment Data tool you are able to utilize your database and synchronize it to share parameters applying it to multiple families to match your standards. Here I'm going to first come up to BIM Interoperability Tools tab and come over to the left hand side where I see my Equipment Data tool and create configuration. In this exercise, I'm going to start from scratch. When I click on Next, it allows me to browse for a Share Parameters file. This is where I'm going to grab my shared parameters and match them with my data. When I click on Next, it allows me to pick a subcategory parameter. This parameter will house that subcategory information that I'm matching to my database. I'm going to choose the asset type abbreviation. In this exercise, all it's going to do is apply the abbreviation, not the full description. I have options over here on the right hand side where I could choose to either hit type or instance how it's going to be applied, either a number, description, or both. I can add any concatenation and choose the group under. I'm going to choose type. I'm going to use both. I'm not going to add in concatenation. And I'm going to add it under data. You'll notice that each one of these parameters are under that subcategory that's already defined in your shared parameters file. When you're done, you can click on Next. Here, it allows you to tie that data to a database that you have created. In this exercise, we're going to be using one that's already predefined. But if you scroll down, you'll find that you have access to a public library, including Uniclass, Omniclass, and Uniformat databases. A database can be created for you or one that you can use from the public library. When you click on Start from Scratch, this will create a brand new database that you can fill out yourself using Excel. So I can either choose a recent one or I can browse to a new database. When I click on Next, it takes me to the Create Configuration Step 5 of Classification Manager Database Worksheet. This is where I can choose the worksheet or tab in that database to use for my subcategory parameter. In that database, you'll be able to fill out information per tab. This dialog here asks you which tab are we pulling that information from. Again, we are adding an asset type in this exercise, so I'm looking for my GSA asset types from that tab. When I'm done, I can click on Next. Here, it allows me to add in other parameters using various other parameters. In this exercise, I'm going to concentrate on the AHU. So I'm going to choose the 3 ton through 24 ton and I can add in a parameter. Again, this parameter is being pulled from my shared parameters file. In this exercise, I'm just going to scroll down to my asset warranty start date. I'm going to click on OK, and there we go. Now I can add in other parameters to add to this, but I'm fine with just this one parameter. Again, I can choose the group that it's under and if it's a type or instance. In this case, it's going to be instance based. Click on Next, and here it's giving me a nice summary of what's going to happen. It tells me the share parameters file, subcategory parameter that I'm using that's going to be applied as type 
classification manager, and any other parameters that I am applying to my families. When I am done, I can click on Finish and Close, and that completes the configuration, where I can save the configuration and use it later. <laughs>